So, uh, today, October 1st, 2023, feeling like a real dirtbag this morning, coming in from uh, doing some outdoor workouts and runs with my dog there. And, you know, I saw on Facebook, actually, it prompted me to see it in the North Cascades, which is Washington State, that borders Idaho, Montana, British Columbia. There is an effort in the works to reintroduce grizzly bears into that, uh, you know, those big roadless wilderness type areas. Obviously, there are a fair amount of roads and there are a fair amount of people living in those areas. But, you know, in light of the context of, you know, the discussions that I've done on predator control, uh, you know, in Alaska, recently Alaska Fish and Wildlife, to reiterate and to backtrack, uh, had done a predator control effort in southwest Alaska where they aerial hunted from helicopters and planes 199 bears, grizzly bears, I guess, uh, predominantly. And obviously that's a somewhat controversial thing, and they obviously spent a fair amount of money doing it. And, you know, in light of how we've obviously talked about the Steve Keel missing person up there, or, you know, Mary Don Wilson missing person in the Healy area, Stampede Road, or, or Steve Keel up on the Hall Road, uh, Dalton Highway, north of Fairbanks, you know, it feels like Fish and Wildlife should, you know, we should have resolution on those type of cases. If we're spending all this money, uh, you know, flying around and killing beers from the air, we should be able to find our missing persons from the air as well. But, you know, with all that said, I wonder where will these bears potentially come from? that would, if this program actually comes to fruition, uh, to reintroduce grizzlies in Washington State, in the North Cascades there, uh, will they come from Alaska potentially, or will they come more likely, I would think, from Canada? But obviously, you know, if we have a surplus of bears in Alaska, you know, to be creative, to be constructive and solution-minded instead of just killing them from the air, is there is it feasible economically and logistically to re, re uh, locate some of them to a place like the North Cascades if, you know, obviously the bureaucratic uh, apparatus in that area has greenlighted that. And I think it's just in the discussion stage now. And I think there's probably some good reasons not to do it. Uh, but, you know, they're right there in Montana. They're right there in British Columbia next door on the north and then to the east. So uh, I wonder what you guys think. Should that happen? Where should the 